Hi, my name is Lexi and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, good afternoon, guys. I am Lexi. If you've never seen one of my videos before, this is an odd one to start with, but today I am talking about building a shopping list after I have decluttered and decimated my wardrobe and tried to do various exercises and um, gotten analyses done uh, that help me figure out what type of clothes and things work best for me. And today I am finally trying to put everything together to uh, build a shopping list that will help me go shopping because I like always fail at shopping and I guess today my cat Pete is going to be keeping us company aren't you yes there's no stopping it so uh, let's get started uh, you can see this is my uh, wardrobe chart so if you have seen my last video, you know that after decluttering, I took pictures of all the clothes that were left and put them in this chart. This side of the chart is like my more like rock and roll, tough guy, androgynous type of things. This side is the super girly feminine stuff. And this side is in the middle and it, and it tends to be um, clothes that I can wear with like either, uh, I, I can wear them with clothes that work down here and I can wear them with clothes that work down here. But generally I don't wear these clothes with this stuff and vice versa. So, uh, I think that right away, I think that the, the, the takeaways from this building this wardrobe chart were that I realized that this end of my wardrobe was extremely casual and that my wardrobe as a whole is very casual, but most of the non t-shirt tops that I had were all down here and that I really want some non t-shirt tops in this end and in this area, especially. Another takeaway that I learned was that I realized how much of my wardrobe is black. Now some of that is because these things are actually other colors and they just kind of look black in these like not so great pictures. But uh, I realized once I saw it all laid out that it was like a lot of black with just like pops of like single bright colors that then I would could only wear with black because there's like I there's only one bright green thing. There's only like one bright red thing like that. So. Um, those are some kind of like general guidance for my shopping list. And that is that, um, I'm not going to be focusing on casual clothes. I'm going to be focusing on more dressed up clothes. Another thing I wanted to do while I have this out is to say that I have actually decluttered some items. So, um, I already took it off the board, but I finally decluttered that rainbow tank top that I kept being like, oh, you know, I might declutter it. I don't know how I feel. Um, I also am decluttering uh, this leopard um, sweater, if that is in focus or not, or I can just put the picture on the screen like a person who knows how to edit a video. And that was, I've been thinking about it for a while. I've gone back and watched my previous videos to help me prepare for this video. And then I've been renting uh, sweaters as a separate project to try to find knitwear that works for me. And I realized that I love this sweater so much more than that other leopard sweater. That other leopard sweater is like, a cartoon of a leopard sweater or something and the colors don't drive the color palette at this end of the wardrobe is a lot darker and richer and that's just like a bright poppy yellow but the style of it is not something necessarily that I would want to wear with other items of my wardrobe and just like the sweater that I'm wearing now fits the bill so much better for my wardrobe and fits my wardrobe so much better in fact I want to buy this I might buy this it's like $150 or something though so I don't know if I will Yeah, so I got rid of that sweater. And then this navy blue striped top, I wore it in my Get Ready With Me video, which I'll link down below. But um, I realized that I love the idea of a non-t-shirt top. And I like that it's navy blue. I like that it has a pattern on it. But this particular top is really old. And uh, to be frank, I bought it when I was much thinner. And though it's stretchy and it technically fits, I find the proportions of it are quite right for my figure now, especially in the sleeves. I find the sleeves are too small and they just make my arms look big because they are so small and so high. Um, and I think that they would look a lot more flattering on me if I had something similar but bigger. I actually want to replace. Oh, and I moved this up here, my leopard print leggings because I found that uh, they're wearing out and they're full of holes and I would like a replacement. I don't think that I want 
leopard leggings. I think that I want leopard pants. So that's a replacement. This is something I want a replacement for. I want a replacement for my um, navy blue top. And I've decided that I want a replacement for my maroon velvet dress. Now, um, during my declutter video, I talked about, I don't even like that dress. I have it and I wear it because it's one of my few items of clothing that makes me feel like cute when I'm really bloated. So um, that's the next thing on my shopping list. So like ding, number three, uh, new uh, dress that I can wear while bloated. And particularly something from like the girly side. But to be honest, it's really the only dress up thing I have that doesn't, um, that I can wear well bloated. So if it was something that fit into this end of the wardrobe, I'd be happy with that as well. I just need clothes that fit me. Um, then the other replacement item is not on here it because uh, I don't have my shoes on here. And that is black strappy platforms. I had said in my video, my declutter video, the one I, the one that was about, I think it was clothes that I wear that I don't like. And I didn't like them. I thought that I was going to like paint them or something. So I would like them more, but I know that they were resellable as is. And I would rather resell something and have it find a good home than paint it, discover I don't like it. And then no one's going to want someone else's like painted shoes and then have to throw them away. So I decided to sell it and I just, they were on Poshmark and they finally just sold like yesterday. So Yay, that's 25 more dollars towards my future clothes. So those are the real replacement items uh, for now. I mean, as I get more clothes, even though they're not strict replacements, those clothes might push out other of my clothes because this is a real, real, real casual wardrobe. And I have a lot of things that I have that I like because they're the only type of thing that I own like that. But that I can imagine that if I start to get nicer clothes that fit me better, that are more kind of the vibe that I'm going for now, which is a bit more grown up, that uh, some, some of these items will leave my wardrobe, but we'll see. Um, so I'm gonna put this aside and then we'll talk about what else I'm gonna be shopping for. That's not based on the what lessons I learned from the wardrobe chart video, but from some of the other videos. Okay, so I put the wardrobe chart down because I think that um, I've already talked about, I think the takeaways from the wardrobe chart and the wardrobe chart video. So um, I've got my list here and like, by the way, like, yes, I am filming in a new location. I live in a mid-century home and it's got one of those like useless, fancy front living rooms that I mostly just sit in and read in. But um, yes, I'm filming up here today because the light is so nice. Okay, so now let's talk about takeaways from um, other videos and things that that has put on my shopping list. So. Um, from one of my declutter videos, I pretty much got rid of all of my shorts. So I do need a pair of shorts for summer. It's only the end of March, I've got a while, but uh, I don't even know if they're for sale yet, but it's on my list. So there you go. Um, so takeaways from my combination of like my body analysis video and also the video where I just tried on a lot of pair of pants, pairs of pants, and that is to try to find more pairs of pants that work for me um, and my rules to recap from that pants video my rules are it's got to have a fitted or smooth waist not um, it can, can have pleats but they have to be a material that the pleats will lay down nicely um, and not like open up and kind of stay bloused open so they have to be kind of like smooth at the waist uh, seams fitted and not just like gathered um, floppy pants are not my thing especially swishy materials but even if it, like, even if it is swishy, if it's still like gathered in at the ankle, that's okay. But I just don't like floppy pants. If it is wide leg, um, stiffer, or like a stiffer wide leg fabric that just ends in a wide leg, it has to be above my ankle to show off my ankle so that, um, to show like the slenderness of my leg, if you will. And to stay away from printed pants, like dark printed pants, because they keep looking like pajamas so that's important to remember for pants but now if we focus back on both the body type analysis thing and the video about my pinterest fashion inspiration this is where it starts to get all like vague and wishy-washy so i really wanted uh Things that were like, I really love and draw to top to bottom cohesion and I need to focus on actually buying that in the store instead of just focusing on individual pieces I like. So I need to 
buy something that works with that vertical color cohesion. So what I mean by that is in the tough, like rock and roll style of my wardrobe, that is suits. And so I am going to start trying to look at some suits or just like blazers that would match colors of pants that I already own. And when buying suits, I'm going to have to be careful. Something else from my body type analysis and something that I just know anyway, and also my fashion inspiration, is that I do like texture and maybe a sew pattern or things like that. Um, something that makes it look not like a business suit, basically. And that could be the fabric, that could be the texture, that could be the color. So something like that. Now in the middle part of my wardrobe that's supposed to be like more versatile and I think is all is kind of a little bit less extreme and just kind of more like grown-up lady clothing. Um, the part of my wardrobe that was inspired by Biba Girls but also like Gal Gadot in Wonder Woman 1984 and that would be some sort of like matching set in terms of like a blouse that matches a nice pair of trousers. And it could be the trousers that I bought to go with the suit from the rock and roll side of my wardrobe. Or it could just be a different pair of trousers. So a pair of trousers with like matching silky blouses or like those matching sets that you see sometimes where it's like a top and a skirt and they're like the same fabric. Something like that would be really cute. Something where it's a uh, pants and a matching crop top. Something like that. So that's uh, for like the more middle like regular lady. <laughs> Beeble girl part of my wardrobe and then for like the super like obnoxiously tacky like super hyper feminine part of my wardrobe the it's a little bit looser I do need to get some more pants I the leopard pants I have I would like love to get in like hot pink or something that side of the wardrobe I think that it would be good if I there has to be color cohesion, but that can come from accessories too. So I could have like a red pair of pants and then like a blue top and then just like red earrings. So to just focus on if I'm buying a new piece that doesn't already match in that end of the wardrobe, if it doesn't already match something in that end of the wardrobe, then I need to buy an accessory that matches it. Otherwise I won't wear that piece because in like in general, I've just realized that I like to be really matchy matchy. I like to have color cohesion and that's not wrong so just to focus on that as um like as a reminder to myself and then the only other thing that i have here and this is kind of reiterating from the uh, wardrobe chart is that i really need to focus on tops that aren't t-shirts like basically blouses and try to find blouses that work for me i also want to make sure that i'm paying attention to my color analysis I think for some reason in the past, I felt a lot of pressure to like get all the colors in my wardrobe, have all the colors, but like why? Like I don't need to have orange in my wardrobe. It's my wardrobe. It can just be blue and green and purple with the occasional fuchsia mixed in. Like that's fine. I'm going to stay away from knitwear. That is something I don't feel ready to make good purchases in. In general, I'm terrible at shopping in stores, like terrible. I go in and I have an idea of something that I want, something specific. Like I want a pair of high-waisted pink leopard print pants. And I go into the store and they don't have that. And I don't have like a backup plan. And I didn't have any general ideas. I wasn't like, oh, I want just like a high-waisted pair of pants and pink leopard would do. I was like, no, I have that one pair of pants in my head and they don't have it here. So now I'm lost. So I'm going to try not to do that and have more general ideas. But I'm terrible at shopping, so um, this is going to be garbage. <laughs> this is going to be awful. I'm going to go into the store, and I'm just going to be wandering around like an idiot. But the first store I'm going to go to is Nordstrom, Nordstrom, but it's also going to take me a few tries, like of uh, going a few different places. So I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm really nervous about this and I've just, I feel like lost. I feel like I was really motivated at the beginning of the year. And then I have been doing so many clothing rentals and just my life has gotten so busy that like I've completely lost focus. And you know, it's funny, I was watching my declutter videos and I was getting so creative with my outfit ideas. And I was like, oh, I could wear this with this and I could do this and this. But since then I've just been wearing jeans and t-shirts because I've been busy and I'm, I don't know, I just feel really out of touch with 
kind of some of the lessons I already learned like two months ago at the beginning of this. So hopefully this refresher and making this list um, will help me remember what I need to know for going shopping. I have also been buying some things like I bought a robe. Yay, finally got a robe and I bought some jewelry and I, you know, I've just made a couple purchases here and there. So um, it's not like I haven't bought anything, but this will be my first time like going out to buy lots of major wardrobe items, like going out to buy multiple pairs of pants and a suit and blouses and whatever and a dress. So we'll see. I will keep you guys updated next week. I think I'm going to be doing a disco pants video because I've had so many people ask me about the disco pants. I and to do like a lookbook of disco pants. I've had people make comments on here, uh, on my Instagram pictures and also just like private message me or, you know, send me a text because they know me in real life asking me about the disco pants. And so I think I'm going to, so that, that gives me a, like a couple weeks to go shopping. I'm not going to feel like pressured into like going shopping this weekend and then reporting back. So if you guys have any like advice on clothes, um, things that you saw from my videos that maybe I'm missing, sometimes things are right in front of our faces and we don't see it. Um, let me know. And I will see you guys next week and thanks for watching. Bye. Let's go on a date.